With blackouts becoming a more common occurrence, there is an ever-growing need for alternative sources of power. Like this blizzard that traveled across country all the way to the East Coast, trapping residents at home and leaving cars stranded with more than 650,000 people struggling without power. Or this 2011 blackout that covered much of Southern California, Arizona, and Northern Mexico, leaving almost six million people without power. We are in the midst of what appears to be a colossal and history-making blackout. Not just this city, but to massive points north and west, as far west as Cleveland, Ohio, and as far north as the Canadian cities of Ottawa and Toronto. Those commuters wanting to get home are crowding to the shore. Good morning. I know a lot of people are at home right now saying, should I even bother going to the store or are they sold out of everything? And the answer is it really depends on the product. I mean, you can see at this Home Depot, they actually have plenty of these big flashlights which people need. The problem is, as you know, if you're like me and you're at home trying to find the batteries, a lot of them take the D battery. There have been reports of people on the side of roads selling batteries for up to ten dollars that's how much in demand they are it can happen to you uh, and when it does happen you're not prepared that list was you're never really prepared to go two weeks without power two weeks without power means no fuel from the from the gas stations means your refrigerators no matter how well they were stocked and and we had extra frozen uh, extra ice in our freezer that we were rotating through our fridge to try to keep things cool Two weeks you can't, you can't last. The solution can, in part, be found in this SolarLink 1000 watt solar powered battery. This unit right here has a thousand watt hours of battery backup power and it also is 80 amp hour. What you're going to get is 10 pure hours of usage or your 40 inch TV and your, your DVD player. So now you can hook up lights, DVD players, TVs, and actually sit in the living room with your family during a power outage and keep them calm by watching a movie. This particular unit right now at the National Hardware Show is we're basically have it hooked up to this 95 watt refrigerator. And with this 95 watt refrigerator, so far it's kept it cold for the last 36 hours. And that can mean you're cooking a meal. That could be your lunch and your dinner. So if your, your power's out, you have an induction cooktop or something that has 500 watts to 600 watts, you could run that for two straight hours. So you can cook your family a meal. You can provide lighting for an entire house using uh, LED lighting. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with 1,000 watts. There are several ways to recharge this 1,000 watt battery. With a 120 volt AC plug, you can charge it in your home wall socket, at work, or outdoors. With this portable 120 watt solar panel, you can fully charge the battery in 8 to 10 hours just with the power of the sun. Or speed up the charging time by hooking it up to two or three solar panels at a time. Power can then be distributed through 120 volt, 12 volt, or USB power outputs. One of the unique features of it is the USB ports. With the USB ports, they come in one, two, or three. Most USBs only have a one or a two and some of them don't even have a three. The unique thing about this USB is you can use all three, which you can't in most devices. Another thing is our 12 volt receptacles. We use a marine 12 volt receptacle, and one of the reasons we use the marine is because it has a locking mechanism inside of it. With the two pins that come on the outside of most 12 volts, when you plug it in, you put it in the unit, you give it a quarter turn, it secures that plug. So now you have a secure plug, which most devices only have a standard 12 volt and you can't pull, it just either slides out or it gets loose after a while. We went and found an American made inverter, an American made lithium battery, and we've made all the components in Northern Nevada, where we're based out of. So this unit is basically 100% made in America. How do solar powered generators compare to the gas powered units? Solar batteries run silent do not generate deadly carbon monoxide gas. And as we learned from Hurricane Sandy, you don't have to wait in line for hours or days to get the fuel necessary to run it. During blackouts, another common problem with gas generators that can be avoided with the solar generator is theft. Its home is right here. Eddie Orman feels powerless after thieves stole a generator outside his house in Churchton, Maryland. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad when you start taking power from somebody else. Don't be fooled by competitive solar products. This battery is lithium iron phosphate, and it will outlast its cheap acid battery competitors three to four times over. 
It can be recharged and reused over 2,000 times. Plus, it doesn't need to be recharged several times a year when not in use. Whether for emergencies and blackouts, or for recreation such as camping and boating, the SolarLink 1000 is one item that every household should not go without. Contact your emergency preparedness specialists at PrepCounts to order yours today.